When James Cornish arrived at Provident Hospital on the night of July 9, 1893, his life was hanging in the balance. A stab wound to the chest had sent him into shock, and Dr. Daniel Hale Williams thought there might be damage to the heart. Armed with only his training and instincts, Dr. Dan, as he was called, would attempt something unprecedented. The surgery lasts six hours. He um, is very much in experimental mode. It was a very crude operation, if you can imagine. You know, they had to saw the chest open, uh, remove two of the ribs. One of the nurses faints during the course of the surgery. There are people watching him do this, and it had never really been done before that you would actually touch and stitch a move, uh, beating heart. Hale Williams would sew up a gash in the pericardium, the sac around the heart, thereby completing the first successful open heart surgery. And just as important, he became the first surgeon to successfully open the chest cavity without the patient dying of infection. The man was in the hospital for 51 days. Uh, he actually outlived Daniel Hale Williams. He went on to live 50 more years. Even before the groundbreaking surgery, Dr. Hale Williams was a trailblazer. One of the few African-American surgeons in the early 1890s, he is also credited with another first. There was a, a young woman named Emma Reynolds who was aspiring to be a nurse, and she'd been turned down by all of the nursing schools in the city uh, because of her color. So, so it was at that point that Daniel Hale Williams pretty much had had enough because he, he knew about the conditions and the barriers. Hale Williams founded Provident Hospital and Training School for Nurses in 1891, the country's first interracial hospital and nursing school. Um, there were very few African-American physicians, very few African-American nurses, um, and often African-American patients were barred from hospitals and the like. It's really um, a dark moment for black, black Americans, if you will. Um, and then Dr. Hale Williams is really quite a shining star at, the, at that moment. A star that would shine even brighter with that daring surgery that would cement his place in history. <laughs>